Okay guys, I think I figured this out. So I apologize that the quality of this is not normal to my other Wasley Science videos. So just get your data copy and paste it on Excel. That's easy. You can just highlight it and then you're going to hit insert and you're going to want a scatter plot and you're going to want the one that's connected. Okay, so this is not at all the data that you want to see because the problem is that the depth is down here on the X and your uh, this is salinity data and your salinity is on the Y. So we want it basically backwards to this. So how are we going to do that? Well, I figured it out. You're going to go to select data and you're just going to remove these and you're going to make a data. You're going to plug in all your data from scratch. So to do that, you're going to add them one at a time. It's actually really easy. You're just going to delete that part and then highlight your depth each time. And then you're going to click on X and we're going to do station one for X and that, and then we're going to hit OK. So then we're going to hit add again and we're going to do the same thing for our depth. We're going to delete it and then we're going to highlight 0 through 12 again. We can just highlight 0 through 12 every time. No big. And then we're going to plug in our station 2 data for the X. And then we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to do this again for our third one. And, and you can also plug in the series names each time. I'll show you how to do that in just a sec. So you're going to plug in your Y and then you're going to click over here for X and then you're going to click there and then so this one was I'm doing this one handed here I'm actually holding the phone while doing this it's pretty impressive so mouth so I can do that and then I'm going to hit OK and then OK and our data is now not fully done so now we just go over here we double click we click on our little bot our three green bars. I know your version might be a little different. And then you're going to hit values in reverse order and boom, these are the three our three stations all together on one. So after that you can just add chart element and you can add in all the titles that you need. Real easy. Um, so again, the trick is it's this button over here that says select data and you just need to make sure that your X and Y you can just highlight when you add a cell you can just highlight exactly the X value and the Y value and make sure that the Y value for all three are depth and then you're good to go so hope this helps you all